William, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Bye, teacher. How was your day, my friend? Fantastic. That's great. Ready to start the class? Sorry. Ready to start our class today? Let's start, teacher. So, so, come on. You have to be a way. <laughs> Why not? It's not eight yet. Aún no son las ocho. He read it, teacher. I'm sorry. He read it. Ready. That's good. That's good. Yes. It's always good to be ready for the class. And let's see and tell me. What did you do today? ¿Qué hicimos hoy? Working teacher. Okay. What okay, do you do? Your, what do you do in your company? Galvaniza teacher. Okay, and what do you do there? ¿Qué hace usted ahí? Este warehouse and department uh, the Salex. Okay, warehouse and department of sales. Sales. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Sales. Yeah, departamento de ventas. Yes. Fíjese que soy del departamento de ventas según la plaza, pero estoy en el área de bodega. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. Tengo que ver las dos cosas. <laughs> Extraño. Well, so you keep busy. Lo mantienen ocupado. Very busy. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. But the good thing is that you got a job. Lo bueno que hay trabajo. Yeah. Yes, teacher. It's always good to be busy. Siempre es bueno estar ocupado. And tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, how big is your family? Are you married? Of course, teacher. Uh, I had... I had one baby. This has. Hold on just a second. Espera un momentito. Okay, so you have one kid. I had one princess teacher. Right. I have. Can you hear me? Me oye? Yes, yes. William. Tell me. Tell me. Oops. I am the one who's not listening to you. Okay, now it's better. Ahora sí. I have a one princess teacher. Oh, really? How old is your daughter? Yes. How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene? 16 years old. 15. 16 years old. 16. 16. Yeah. Yes. Ah, oh, she's big already. Ya está grande. Yes. She's a teenager. Ya es adolescente. No. Well, it's good to have kids, you know. 
they give happiness to the to the to the home. Te dan felicidad a la casa, al hogar. That's good, teacher. And, and you keep busy, y lo mantienen ocupado. <laughs> Just one? Just one daughter? Solo uno? Uh, yes, for uh, I want more babies. You want more? Yes. And I just have one and I don't want no more. No more kids for me, my friend. I want two baby more. Two more babies. Wow, that's awesome. You really like kills because me, uh, uh, it's not for me. Okay, well, welcome to the class, William. Thank you, and it's nice talking to you. You're welcome, teacher. Walter, hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Tell uh, me, Walter, tell me that today we don't have problems with the microphone. Oh, no. I don't, uh, no teacher, I no problem in microphone. Perfect, excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay. That's good, that's good. Tell me, Walter, how was your day? What did you do today? Oh, and day teacher, very good. And, and my work, no problem. My department and kids is relaxed. And okay. the moment- in my, in my department, very okay. easy, very, very easy, okay. Okay, yeah, very easy in my department, very easy teacher. And a lot of work uh, in the plan, in the plan, in the production. Production plan. Oh yeah, you told me the other day. Yes. You told me yes. that the production area is the one that is going to be very busy these days. A jet teacher. And your department area. is going to be busy when? August, September. Yes, yes. Uh, and always war. And always uh, we had war. Uh, for the moment, department is uh, a little, a little, little. A little busy? A little bit. A little bit. Poco. Okay, okay, well, that's good. Yes. That's good to know. <clears throat> that's nice. So, what time did you finish working today, Walter? Oh, we finished working uh, is um, and six uh, forty six. Oh, really? Wow, late. Yes. But you live close to your job, Vive Cerca. Yes, um, my, uh, four, five, and max, and max, uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes by car? Yes, yes. Uh, my car. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, 10 yes. minutes by car, it's, it's close, uh, and, it's pretty close. And, and five minutes, five minutes. That's nice. That's actually uh, nice. I mean, two, uh, two kilometers. Two kilometers. Yes. Really, very close. Muy cerca. Yes, this is. Wow. No problem. Lucky you, my friend. Lucky you. Afortunado. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, thanks to you, Walter, and welcome to the class. To work with teacher. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Marta. Hello, Marta. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm good, teacher. What about you? 
I'm just great here, you know. Same old story, working as usual, but <laughs> it's okay for me. I like okay. it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do? My day is great. Okay, my day was. My day was great. Okay, what did you do today? Nothing. It's, it's vacation for me. <laughs> oh, really? You're on vacation? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. When do you finish vacation? Uh, next Monday. Next month. Oh, you are almost finishing. Yes. That's nice. So, oh, and tell it's me. It's good. It's good. <laughs> what have you been doing during your vacation? Uh, any any plan for the moment, teacher? But uh, I I I go to uh, the. The store, the shopping, the cho shows, man, uh, que seres? shows, 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 shows in my home. Uh, only, <laughs> not, not, nothing special for this vacation. Okay, house shows. That's what you mean, house shows. Okay. House doors. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Well, today we are going to talk about restaurants. Tell me, tell me, Marta, which is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is San Martin. Oh, really? Tell me why. Yes, because the menu is is variado. The menu. The menu is is variado. It's varied. Okay. It's There's yes. different options. Different oh, option wait. for for eat. For eating. For eating. Okay, and tell me what's your favorite type of food? Uh, in my case, I love the food. All, all food. Nothing all special. All that the types. Food. Types the food. Um all, all types. No, nothing special. Like all is do. good for me. Okay. <laughs> Being full, everything is okay for you. Yes, everything is okay for me, teacher. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Thank you very much, Marta, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Where's Roxana? Roxana. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Just I finished my ataque de gripe. <laughs> Okay, the flu, the flu attack. The flu, the flu attack, yeah, but okay. I'm okay. Okay, that's fine. And tell me, Roxana, well, you once told me, I remember that you told me you like... Uh, Mexican uh, food. Uh, yes, Mexican <laughs> food. But I don't remember which is your favorite restaurant. Mm, right now, I think that is... The sótano, no zócalo, el sótano. Okay, It's the in basement. The near to uh, Uca University. Okay. And please remind me, why do you like it? Recuérdame, por qué le gusta. I love the tacos because uh, they have... Um, those lengua, tacos de lengua. Okay, tongue, tongue. How do you say? Tongue, tongue take tacos. Tongue tacos. Tongue taco, and I love the burritos. And I think that 
is the best um, tortilla soup for me? Uh, no, tortilla soup is not for me. I love almost everything in Mexican food. Me encanta casi toda la música, la, la comida mexicana, I'm sorry. But tortilla soup, no. no. You don't really eat a lot of food. Then I, I do, I do, but it's just a tortilla soup. Just Italian food. I love Italian food. Did you taste uh, the pastaria, I think, in the poultry center? Actually, uh, it's it's on my plans for this month. I recommend, I really, really recommend it. Yeah, I, my sister, I, my sister I loves that, that the Italian, Yeah, yeah. The Italian food for me is not the top, but I I can I can eat them. Uh, and I think that the pastaria is better than Olive Garden. Oh, really? Yeah, you really love that. Okay, you I will will love that. I will try it. Thank you, Roxana, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Where is Maria Alejandra? Hello, Maria Alejandra. Where, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Maria. We are I... talking about food and restaurants. Which is your favorite restaurant? Um... I don't know. Um, maybe Santa Burguesa. Where is that? <laughs> it's the name of the restaurant. Is the same con is the same pounds for buffalo wings or uh -huh. Oh really? And tell me which is your favorite hamburger? I like a basic hamburger, but in Santa Burguesa, I like good uh, cheese, uh, fried cheese, fried cheese. Eso frito? Yeah. Uh-huh. In the hamburger, um, I like, it's my favorite hamburger. <laughs> and I don't mm -hmm. like the pepinillos, pickles. Pickles. Pickles, pickles. Uh -huh. The I pickles? love pickles. I don't know. And the French fries, French fries. Um, the style is American style. And put a pickles and a, a sauce. And I don't know, but I, I like it. <laughs> OK, very interesting. You know, I love fried cheese, but uh, no when eating, I like it as hmm, I'll explain. It. I like fried cheese, you know, to 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 go with some cold beverages. Ah, or a wine or a picard, no. No, with beer. Ah, okay. Um well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Maria. You're welcome, teacher. I teacher. will try that place you say. <laughs> yes. In Olivos or Multiplaza. Teacher. Yes, Roxana. Maria Alejandra loves eat French fries at class. At where? Oh, in class. In class. In class. Yes. Yeah, she does. She does. Let me see. Let me see. Just give me a second, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, yeah, she loves eating French fries. I know. I have noticed that. Okay, let's see, let's see, who's next, who's next, who's next? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nicolás, hello, Nicolás. 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, my, my friends. How are you? We're fine. Just fine. And tell me, Nicolas, we are talking today about food. Which is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is the restaurant Los Mendes. Los Where Mendes is, is my... Hey, Los Mendes is, is, is the restaurant in my house. Oh. The, the chef are Nicolás Méndez, Esteban okay. Méndez, and Nicolás Méndez Jr. Okay, now tell me, what's the menu there? What's the specialty uh, of the house? For example... What's the specialty uh, of the house? Tell me. Uh, well, for example, the vegetables are part of my, my diet or my favorite it no my favorite food food uh, in pollo pollo how do you say chicken? pollo chicken. okay chicken with 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 potatoes with um potatoes um other other vegetable is uh, Broccoli. Broccoli, yeah. Bro broccoli and uh, soja. Soja. Yeah. In English? So. Soya. Ah, okay. Soya. Retoño. Retoño soya. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Okay, but what's the name of the dish? ¿Cómo se llama el plato? Ah, it's a, it's a good question, teacher. In this moment, I know... Uh, rename or name? I don't is... remember. No. no oh, you have a name. You have a name, the dish. You have a name, the dish. Okay, this yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. In, oh. in short time, veremos. Okay. In the future, we'll see. Okay. In the future, we'll see. Uh, well, in eh, eh, fuera de mi casa, uh -huh. out of home, our own, our own home. Eh, the restaurant, the rest, the favorite restaurant is uh, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? De la... Mr. Gaucho, señor Gaucho. Okay, where is it? Where is it? That is in uh, Salvador del Mundo, y alrededores del yeah. alrededor. Around, close to, close to, cerca de. Close to Salvador del Mundo, or oh, in San Benito. In San Benito is is other restaurant. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you very much, Nicolas. Very okay, interesting. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, let's see. Shanira, your turn. Welcome to the class, Shanira. Thank you, teacher. Uh, remind me, because we already talked about this. Remind me, which is your favorite full restaurant? Well, I know a new restaurant that, that like me. Uh, okay. la that I like, that I like. That I like, that I like. Okay, la so you got a new one. Where is that? Is in Sora Rosa. Okay, let me see. Near I passed to, by. Near to near. Gastroteca. I think um, I saw it yesterday. Creo que ayer lo vi. Yeah, I was passing by yesterday. It's really good. Okay, uh, what's the specialty there? I don't know. They have a lot of dishes. Okay, many dishes. Many dishes. Um, okay, which is which is the one that you try? Que probó usted? Tomahawk. Wow. Tomahawk. It's tomahawk. Like a oh. car, name car. Tomahawk, tomahawk. is is uh, an axe. Eso era un hacha. Ah, yeah, un hacha. Eh, it's the same form. It's a big meat in form the the acha. Axe. Axe. 
X form. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. With, I can with imagine. Potatoes, with potatoes salted in Romero, in okay. Berry. Oh, it's really good. You, yeah, I as, recommend as, you. As Roxana said, it's not for everybody, I imagine. Uh, not really. I they have a a big price, but have another dishes with uh, a good price. For example, tartaras. Is a what do you say mariscos? Seafood. Okay. Seafood. High prices and low prices. Okay. High prices and low prices. For example, tartaras is eight dollars. And okay. it's, it's like, uh, I don't know who to describe, a uh, form that, uh, algo redondo así. Okay, something round, yeah. It, it's a seafood in form round um, with uh, avocado, um, shrimp. Shrimp, uh, shrimp, shrimp. 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 Who do you say rabano in English? Radish. Radish. And pulpo and calamar. I don't know how do you say in English. Octopus. Octopus and calamar. Oh, really? It's getting for interesting. Eight, for eight dollars, it's really good. The, ho yeah. the tomahawk is more... It, it's expensive. A high, yeah, it's more expensive. Uh, Twenty-five dollars. But it's a big portion. Which restaurant? No, not really. You need to try. Yes, it's wish. rich. It's delicious. You need to try. It's really, really you need, delicious. You need to have. You need to have money. <laughs> yeah, you need to be prepared to go there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Janira is single. Uh, Ella está uh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. but, but I think I, I think the life is only one. Then you need to know uh, a okay. lot of food, a lot of places. You need to live. I think okay. so. Okay, <laughs> as, as I need to have money. As, <laughs> as teenagers used to say before, como decían los adolescentes antes. Uh, you only live once. Do you remember a few years ago? Se recuerdan hace unos años. The sentence used to write Y O L O. I think uh, that is a millennial or crystal yeah. phrase. Yeah, right? they they use that expression, and that yeah. expression means you only live once. Oh yeah. You Solo se vive una vez. Yes, I, I, I agree with this. Yeah, but you are single, so that's not a problem for you. No, I think it's not a problem. You, you need to take you a time and some... Um, oh, my gustos? dear. How do you say yeah, gustos? For a you little need treat. To, you need to take your salary and give to the restaurant. <laughs> no, yeah. come on. No, the problem is that having kids uh, is way different. I, well, I said, let's continue. I, I sent you a picture of that tomahawk in, in the chat group. Okay, you will, you will, don't worry. Just, just to, 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 for us to get to know it. Let me see who's, who's having problems with the connection, guys. Alguien se me desconectó. Let's see, let me check. Just give me a second, I'm checking that everybody's here. Is just a second, guys. Oops, I don't need to. Hmm. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, guys. Okay. Oh.
Thank you, Yanira, for sharing with us the picture. Nice. Okay, let's see, Carlos. Hello, Carlos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Carlos. How are you today? Fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Carlos, Bye. tell me. What we are talking about the, the restaurants. No, no, actually the, the pool, but the restaurant. Which is your favorite restaurant? Okay, with my family, uh, our favorite restaurant is our restaurant of fast food pizza. The fast food but, joints. Yes, but uh, the, the, for me, the best uh, restaurant in fast food is Wendy's teacher. With my family, okay. we use uh, usually uh, go there. You usually go, go there. Go there, yes. But with uh, my friends, teacher, uh, usually we go to the ceviches. Um, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> that is so. Our favorite place to spend a lot of time in a large uh, speed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with friends, with friends gets <laughs> different. It gets different. Yes. I know. I know what yes, you mean. Teacher. I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. We love a uh, Riva and barbecue sauce, for example. That uh, oh the the I don't know how do you say plato, but it's a uh, Plato de Bocas is very good in that in that place. Yes, yeah, something just to be like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you accompany with? What do you okay. What do you get with that? I I okay. Uh, with my coworkers, we planning to go there the next Friday because this this Friday uh, my and one of my coworkers have a vacuum uh, and for, for that uh, we we don't uh, go out this Friday. We didn't, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't go out this Friday. Okay, well, interesting, interesting. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. It was pretty interesting. Let's see, let's see, who else do I have? Well, before I continue, I need to get the attendance, guys. So let me just get it. Just a second. Today is the 14th, right? And we're going to do this here. And we're going to do this here. Okay, this way I can see everybody. Okay, Amber Eli Alfaro. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Eduardo Valencia. Estamos, pero aquí quiero estar Present teacher. Este. Ah, pues si quieres soy Janet, yo de nuevo. Okay. Eduardo Ademir no yo la brito. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present here. Thank you, Jose. I remember that you got problems with your microphone. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. Maria Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Sencio de Mejía. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. 
William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Is present. Yes. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. Okay, now. What am I asking you about restaurants and food? Because actually that's what we are going to be talking about today, okay? Let me share with you something. I got two questions for you, you see? What is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? What are some successful restaurants you know, okay? Those questions you are going to be asking your classmates, okay? Now, those questions are actually, in your manual, in page number 21, okay? In page 21, exercise one, you will see those questions because today we are going to talk a little bit about marketing, okay? That's going to be interesting because if you remember, you have a final homework that you are going to give me that is about presenting a product. Do you remember the homework for the last two classes? Yes, right? Perfect. It's good that you remember. So now what are we going to do? We are going to have a little bit of a conversation and I'm going to be moving from room to room, checking out what you're talking about, okay? So I'm going to divide you in groups of three and four members. Let's see. Just let me make an adjustment here. Uh, oh, this is it. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, groups are ready, I guess. Yes, groups are ready. Please jump in. You will have five minutes for this activity. So let's do it. Teacher, I have a question. What is the meaning yes. for successful? Successful, exitoso. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, thank you. Oh, they're cool. <laughs> hello, guys. Hello, 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 ladies. Hi. I'm sorry, ladies. Today, you are going to be just ladies speaking because Jose, he's having problems with the microphone, okay? Okay. Okay. So he's listening, but uh, he cannot be speaking. So, but you can text your classmates, Jose, here in the group, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Hey, Roxana, where's that? Where did you take that uh, picture? I'm high because you 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 know that I am low tired. Hold on. So I'm high, hidden. 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 Yeah, no, what I mean is that picture that picture it was in grecia oh really yes yeah and you are talking about hello <laughs> the highest <laughs> <sexy food. laughs> yeah no i have a, a ex 
explain explanation explication uh, what is it uh, what yeah yeah explain yourself please in the, in the last uh, year or in the past i was working in avianca so i have i had um cheap uh, flights with uh -huh. the avianca or another uh, airlines airlines so yes so i could uh, travel no, yo pude, sería. i yeah, could I travel, could travel. I could travel to some countries because okay. a, for me it was very cheap. cheap. Okay, I'll be back in a second. So you explain me because somebody's calling me from another group. I'll be back. I want to know which other countries did you visit? <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm here. I'm here, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Tell me, tell me, Hi. my dear. I'm Hi. sorry. Hello. No problem. Uh, could you please repeat the, the activity, please? Okay, what you're going to do is ask and answer the two questions. What Which is an page? important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? And what are some successful restaurants you know? I posted them in the in the chat, in the Zoom chat. So I posted on the chat the Zoom. But if you got your manual handy, si usted tiene su manual a la mano, they are in exercise one, page number 21. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, I am back, Roxana. Now tell me, <laughs> tell me, tell me. I wanna know. <laughs> I could visit another countries because I was traveling. Yeah, I remember that. My... Which countries? Which countries? No, because, uh, I don't know, uh, USA, uh -huh. uh, well, Los Angeles, Miami. Yeah, but you know, for me, traveling to the USA is not like that. Tell me in other countries, Europe. Uh, Which other countries Madrid, did you visit? South, South America. Okay. Oh my gosh. That if, airport if, is as a matter, as a matter as, 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 como es? Yes. as a matter as fact, as fact. a matter of fact, yes. When the pandemic started, I I was in uh, Brazil because Brazil? I give the I, I was the uh, prepare to my co workers in Brazil to take my process. So oh, when the really? pa pandemic start, I was uh, there. And yeah. uh, then uh -huh. I traveled to Colombia and I have this maybe seven days, I guess, because um, the airport was closed here. The airport. Airport. The airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know, the, the one in Madrid, that airport is huge. Yes. It's immense. Well, which one did you get to? Where did you go? Uh, I... Barajas. Okay, that one's big. Yeah. It's, for me, the most bigger is Istanbul. The biggest. I, Biggest, yeah, it's Istanbul. I don't remember what is the name. It's a new airport. Oh, really? Yeah, it's bigger than Barajas. Even then? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because that one, Barajas, is big. That thing is huge. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. But in what my about, case, I was yeah. uh, traveled with my uh, friends, and for me, is it was very cheap for this because we are not um, dividíamos en partes igual. Okay, we share the expenses. We share share the share the expenses. Share the expenses. Yeah. 
So when you are uh, planning in this uh, form, you can uh, visit uh, different countries in ship. Yeah, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I mean, you can take tours like uh, like if you go to the to the uh, Europa del Este. I mean, you can take a tour that you take. Uh, you go to uh, Czech Republic. You go to Russia, and I mean, you get many countries on on a whole I know, trip. Rus Russia. 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 I love Russia. Russia. Russia is beautiful. Yes. And uh, well, depending me, on the time of the year, a little bit cold. For me, it's so cheap. Oh, did you get in Russia something that is mandatory for everybody is to get a a a a a, a hood. Todo el mundo que va a Rusia trae un su gorrito. Did you get it? No. Oh, come on. They sell my them in the streets. No, my collection is about a uh, llaveros or t-shirt. Okay, interesting. Yeah, oh, I dear, have a lot of, a lot of. I need to go check the other llaveros. groups. So many ah, okay. actually. Okay. No, but what you're talking about is key rings. Key rings, okay. Key rings. Yeah, key rings. check in the okay. chat. Key rings. Okay, see you. Key rings. See you. It's a better strategy. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Very Talking working. about, or do you finish it? Of course. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we have a, a, a sometime strategy for for restaurant. Oh, really? You are creating a strategy. That's cool. no, no. Is is strategy uh, actual actually in the restaurant? Okay. <laughs> okay, you are discussing an uh, uh, an strategy that some restaurants are using. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. That's great, that's great. Okay, I'll be back. Vuelvo luego. Pero, poco a poco la voy investigando. Ah, yeah, but... speaking Spanish. No, not really. Mm. When she can speak in English, she tried to explain it, but she's okay. English. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's see, who's with you? Francisco Jose, Francisco Jose. Yeah, Francisco. but but he's in, 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 the, in the work. Yeah, yeah, Francisco Jose is working. I'm sorry that I didn't come and tell you before. Perdonen que no le vine antes. He is working right now. And he's finishing working at 11 something. Él va a terminar de trabajar hasta con las y algo. But he's listening. Gosh. Yeah, she write us. And he, he. I'm sorry. He texted he, us. He texted <laughs> us. He, yeah, he texted us and tell us that. Told us. Told, uh, yeah, told us that he's working right now, yeah. just now. I, you know, Janita, I am so depressed right now. Why? Why, teacher? Oh. Because Roxana just told me all the countries she has visited in her life. Yeah. yeah. Which country? Well, she's gone Russia, Greece, Brazil, Spain, the United States. Really? She's almost all over the world. And she is uh, she's telling that. I'm rich because I go to eat to the burrata. Come on. No, no, no. It's because of her previous job. Oh, she, she was working yeah, for some for Bianca. Yeah. yeah. She worked for Bianca. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know me, I know I know Santa Ana and I know San Vicente also. <laughs> I mean I've been abroad, I've been far. I I I travel to Panama. Um, Pan oh no, but Panama is so hot. 
Um, I mean, well, there are some areas like uh, Cordoba. Cordoba is acceptable, but there are some parts of Panama, man, it's city of I, Panama is hot. I visited only the capital. Yeah, the city of Panama. Yeah, Panama and Peru and the US. Peru. And Mexico, only that. Mexico, the DF? Uh, Jalisco. Oh, yeah, because the DF, man, that thing is so polluted. Eso está tan contaminado. Yeah, I, I was angry because I make, a, how do you say, scale? Scale. Yeah. I make a scale in DF and I had eight hours to spend. But someone tell me that DF is very dangerous. Then I well, I went in the in the airport. It depends. It depends actually where you go. It depends where you go. I mean, because there are some areas of the DF that are cool. And man, that city is in a hole. Really? Yeah, didn't you see it but from the plane? I mean, to get to the DF. You go down, really down. Uh, I don't remember. I I arrived to the end and take another uh, plane plane to Jalisco, but I don't remember at all. I don't remember. Maybe I don't see. <laughs> I don't saw. I didn't. I didn't see. I, I didn't see. No, I mean not a hole, but I mean it's just that the, the, the height from the other the other states is a little bit higher. Okay, okay. But it's nice, it's big. Yeah, it's big, it's big country. Yeah, it's so big. Jalisco, Jalisco, let's see, Jalisco. Oh mountains, beautiful mountains. Yeah, well, yeah. I I uh, I visited for a job, for a job. Um, oh, okay, so you didn't get to to sightsee. Yes, on, only the bill, but one day, um, pick pick up, pick no, pick me up. Pick, okay. Pick me up to the beach for six hours. And at, uh, at night, we go to the discotheque. We went. We went, we went to the discotheque and that's, that's it. Okay, well, I need to go check another group. Bye. Okay, bye. Is very well. Yeah. Uh -huh, guys, tell me, tell me. You finish it? Yes, teacher. So you were talking about restaurants and strategies, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. What are some successful restaurants you know, Francisco? Five. I have many uh, to do this thing. Uh, uh, Torta Celeste, teacher, in Concepción de Ataco. Oh, really? Yes. The, the barbecue is very delicious. It's, okay. That's uh, interesting. Uh, restaurant, the, the place is, is beautiful. The weather mm -hmm. is, is fresh. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what about you, Edward? Sure, uh, Edward is is driving. Oh, driving okay. Okay, let's see. What about you, Daniel? What are some restaurants you know? Uh, <laughs> maybe one of the well, my favorite uh -huh. too. It's Acajutla. Okay, yeah, you told me that you like going there, right? Yeah, the food is really delicious. Okay, tell and me one restaurant that you can recommend to me. In Acajutla? No, the, well, well, Acajutla, the restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 now I get you. You really like the food from there, so you like seafood? 
Yeah, a lot. And Betos is uh -huh. really, really good too. That's good, that's good. Excellent. Well, guys, it's time. Let's go back to the main room. Yes, Francisco, tell me. Uh, in Acajutla uh, is the, is the better place, Acajutla restaurant. Uh, oh, really? It's the best. It's the best. The best restaurant. And other, uh, maybe La Cueva. Oh, really? Um, the, the yeah, view, it's really good, too. The view is, is, is nice. Yeah, because, uh, I mean... I go to Acajutla, but just to buy fish. Yeah, I love uh, Robalo. Oh, one of the people that work with us sell, uh, I don't remember the name of the fish, tilapia. The, yeah, the oh, that sounds good. Is for, for is nice. Soap. Not really. Fry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. No, Francisco. Uh, well, actually, I like it fried. Oh, okay, teacher. And and braille, you know. Uh, and braille. Empanizado. Oh, braille. I love it. I love it. Teacher, how do you say? Uh, Longer is a slice. Yeah, slice. Mm. Slice, uh, bread, fish. Fish. Well, in this no. case, slice, bread, uh, robalo. That's delicious. I love it. <laughs> it's a, a good fish tissue. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, uh, I really like. Other uh, is good is uh, Americano. Uh, in Cajutla uh, is the name. The really? fish is color is color red. Mm. Well, you know something curious, Robalo in English you call it uh, Bass. Bass. Wow. Yeah, the same as bajo, like the instrument, the musical instrument. Yes, it is, it's, it's in the same, the same world. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Thank you, Francisco. We were talking in the in the room about uh about fish. And I was explaining that I love an robalo or bass is delicious. Okay, guys. So you were talking. And I will pick some of you to tell me about what you were talking. So, Sylvia, tell me about your group. What are some of the successful restaurants you and your classmates know? Hello, teacher. Yes. Sylvia, um, we were talking about uh, some restaurants. Okay, we were talking about uh, that the most successful restaurant I know is Olavetas here in the Libertad. Uh, oh, it's yeah, it's a good. good, a really good restaurant, has delicious food. They offer seafood and they are very successful because many people are, are it's always crowded all times and if you want to go you have to make a reservation because there is not much space it's always very crowded yeah it is um, packed it is packed, it is packed most packed. of the time yes. yeah well <laughs> you know you can use packed but when you are talking informally like if we are having an informal conversation sylvia you can say packed i'm sorry guys and i'm when... sorry sylvia i will make a post to explain your classmates okay go La palabra crowded quiere decir eh, muy lleno cuando hablamos de un lugar con una gran multitud, pero en una conversación informal, like we are with Sylvia right now, we can say packed. It's the same. Okay. So, yes, Sylvia, let's continue. Yes, sometimes it is 
packed that place. I mean, uh, like weekend Saturdays, Saturdays around 2 p.m. Man, it's terrible. Yes, it's always it's always packed. Um, because sometimes I have to make reservations in that place because our clients wants to go to have lunch or dinner. And sometimes I call and they say, oh, no, we're full. <laughs> it's very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that happens. That happens. Well, interesting. Thank you. Yes. Oh, what about your classmates, Sylvia? That ah, was yes. you. What about your <laughs> classmates, the ones from your group? Tell me about them. Okay. Um, one of my classmates said that one of the most successful restaurants are Chapultepec. Okay. Uh, Yes, because they have like discounts, uh, really good food. In another restaurant that they said that are very successful is Wendy's. They told me, they told me. They, uh, they told me that Wendy's restaurant is, is a good place. I don't really know, but they say it's, it's good. Well, yeah. They sell like, like seafood. Yes, yes. It's hamburgers. I mean, it's a hamburgers joint. Oh, okay. it's a hamburgers joint. So I mean, it's fast food. Mm -hmm. And remember, people love fast food because I mean, it's easy. You just go get it. You can eat it there. You can take it home. Easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Sylvia. Interesting. Thank hey, you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is going to talk to me right now. Uh, who was not with Sylvia? Let's check it out. Okay, let's see. I got Jose Osorio, Maria Alejandra, Maria Luisa, and Roxana. Okay, Roxana, you tell me about your group. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, we think that uh, it's important to use social media to promote the product in the case of the restaurant. And it's important to have delivery or apps to give that services. Innovate to provide, in the, to provide. Innovate, inno, inno, innovate the product in the product. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Roxana. Just a second. To pro, I'm sorry, to provide the service. Not to give the service, to provide. Me okay. perdi. You told me to give the service, delivery. You were telling me about to, delivery. Yeah, and you to, tell to me give to, the, to give the service. service. Okay, in that to case, provide. The, yes, to provide the service is better. Okay, and the other okay. word, yes, it's innovate. You were pronouncing it okay at the beginning, okay? Okay, sorry, okay. I, I, I got you confused. Okay, okay. Innovate in the product. Uh, maybe use influencers to promote and offer discount or promotions. And okay. we think that is important uh, price and quality. Excellent. And have menu with different dishes to choose. Okay, man. And Excellent. we think that the most yes. uh, successful restaurant uh, is Sony Roma's, Buffalo Wings, San Martin, La Calaca, Pizza Hut, uh, Pollo Campero, McDonald's, and other because they have a young concept and a familiar concept. Okay, perfect. Interesting. It was a good analysis. Okay, now okay. just one thing, Roxana. You told me the most the most successful restaurants is R because you told me R. many of them. Okay. Plural. Okay. Thank you very much, Roxana. Excellent. Well done. Now let's see, Carlos, Marta, and William. Let's see, uh, Marta. You tell me about your group. What were you discussing in the group? Okay, uh, we, we complete the second question about the marketing strategy of the restaurant. Okay. Uh, so some strategy uh, is promotion to, to for one. Okay. 
accumulate points for chain other products. Okay, Ref to exchange. To, ex to exchange, okay. Uh, refill the drink. Okay, free refilling. Free refilling. Free refilling. Okay. Uh, discount for discount for pay with X credit card. Okay. A strategy the promotion product for each day the weekend. Each or day of the weekend. Day of the weekend. Day of the weekend. Okay. All you can eat. Okay. Uh, pack two for three or two for four. Guarantee the service 30 minutes or free. Uh, okay. the, the birthday ate free. A man, uh, many promotions. There is a ballet uh, parking service, a season menu. Okay. Uh, Challenge food. Okay, perfect. You got many promotions. You got for yes. the whole. You got I for the whole stop of I restaurant. Love food. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Thank you very much, guys. Next group. Let's Thank see. You, What's Fernando, Susana, and Wilfredo? Susana, you've been very quiet. Tell me, Susana, what were you discussing with your classmates? Um. Well, for for in group, uh, say um, the important for by the company or the restaurant, uh, man, mantener, how do you say? To keep. To keep, to keep uh, this, this when, this coin, come on, this when, the cuentos? Yeah, discounts. Discounts. Discount, discount uh, otherwise. Oh, uh, all the time. Or, or you can say always. Always. All, uh -huh. In this case, you say it like this, to always keep discounts. Ah, okay. To always is keep this, this kind. Keep, keep, mantener, keep. keep. Ah, okay, keep. Always keep this kind. Discounts. Discount. Okay, keep. interesting. E, um, also, also a, Match uh, with a promotion with a credit card. Uh, hmm. uh, use use este, use uh, IFP card IFP card. AFP card. Okay, IFP card. Uh, and also on the la prensa gráfica too. Okay. But uh, that would be another option. Yes. He, okay. Thank you very uh, much. I'm sorry, Susana, to stop you, but I need I need to run you to the time. Perdón que la detenga, pero tengo que correr con tiempo. But it was good. Excellent. Well done. Next group, Daniel and Francisco. Let's see. Francisco, tell me about what were you talking with your group? Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. You here? Teacher. Hello. Okay, the number one, the what is an uh, important recipe? strategy? Uh, the strategy. Uh, we think uh, uh, provide a good customer service, uh, improve food quality, and uh, Daniel told me it makes little dishes to low cost okay. for the people. The people eat uh, many things at the same time. Okay, interesting, interesting strategy, Daniel. Excellent, well done, Francisco and Daniel. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Now, the, net, the last group, Claudia, Francisco, and Janira. Let's see, Claudia, tell me, what were you talking with Janira? Um, we think it's important important um, the new motion, good attention, 
good flavor and okay. the presentation, many dishes, publication, and for me as important, a clean place. Oh, food. Now, just one, one correction. Location. That's the way we say location. location. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hey, guys, you are doing pretty well. I was checking all the groups and I was seeing all of you speaking in English. And I mean, that's awesome. That's great. I love that. So let's continue. Let's go to the manual because we need to get the part related to the conversation, okay? So let's see, we got a conversation for today and that conversation is pretty short. So let me see. The conversation goes like this. Just let me get a picture. I'm sorry, my phone is going to appear on the video. There we go. Okay. Remember, we are in the manual in page number 21, unit number two and exercise two and the conversation says, hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, I repeat. Hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good, look. I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. I repeat one last time. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. And I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a, des a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, guys, time, time to practice. So let's see, let me recreate groups. Teacher, what is the meaning for seldom? Seldom. Hold on. Si lo voy a explicar en unos minutos, después de la conversación, okay? It's part of the grammar. Tengo una presentación, okay, Roxana? Okay. Let me just check on something. See. Oh. 
perfect. Groups are created, please. Three minutes is enough, let's jump in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Edward. We can hear you. Si le escuchamos. Okay. Oh, okay. I, my internet is unstable. Yeah, it's been giving problems. Oh. I, don't, I don't connect to, to PC. I am connected to my cell phone. Okay, but, but do you have the conversation? Tiene la conversación? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Okay, okay, you can practice. I am, I, am I am Mr. Mott. Okay, I start. Hello, Jennifer. I was given. A promotional issue? No, sir. We never do. Okay, switch. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we we are promotion a dessert every weekend. Do we ever give a promotion item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, one more time. You start. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Who is it going? How is yes. it? How is it? How is it? How is, How it, is going? it going? Perfect. How is it going? Okay. Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in the regular basis. That's some good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. We never, no sir, we never do. Sir, sir, sir. No sir. No sir. sir. Like that, perfect, perfect. No, sir, we never do. In this case, sir, is, uh, look, in this case, we are having something very strange. It's just that Mr. Mott must be in a higher position. Mr. Mott, seguramente está en una posición más alta. Because he goes and he greets her, él le saluda a ella, in a very informal way. How is it going? Como decir, eh, ¿qué tal todo? But she answers very formally. Ella contesta muy formal. She goes like, Mr. Mold, sir. Okay. So automatically, you know, he's in a higher position. Automáticamente identificamos. Ella está en una posición más alta. Okay. So remember that sir must be respectful. Okay. How do you say promote, promote? Promoting, okay. Promoting. Promoting. Okay, promoting. 
We are promoting. Okay. Okay, guys, 60 seconds. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Must be the, the, the internet that kicked you out. Creo que la aplicación me lo sacó a todo rapidito. Because supposedly I was giving you 60 seconds, but I see everybody here. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Well, let's do it. Uh, Ambar and Claudia Ramos. Ambar, you start, please. One more, ay, Dios mío. Tengo un problema. You need me to ¿Quiere que le comparta la conversación? Ok, don't worry, Amber. Solve it and let me know. Resuélvalo y me avisa. Daniel and Edward. Daniel, you start. Ok. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? It's fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about your marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do you change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu, however. We are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, regular, regular. And regular. Sir, regular. sir, sir, sir. So, so we, 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 no, right. Yes, exactly, exactly, sir. And remember, this is very respectful because I was talking with Carlos and somebody else there that uh, Mr. Moat is is the boss, okay? Because he greets her very informally and she answers very formal and respectful. Thank you very much, Daniel and Edward. Amber, are you ready now? Yes, That's I'm ready. Job. Okay, excellent. Amber and Claudia, please, Amber, you start. Okay. Um, hello, Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Moss. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing marketing strategies and I want to know some, same things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Now, listen. Regular, regular basis. That sounds good. Promoting, promoting. Item, item. Item. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nicolás and Wilfredo. Nicolás, you'll start. Yes, I am start. Okay. Hello, Francisco. How is how is it how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Nicolás. Uh, Nicolás. I'm just checking the number of people who came in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting, promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. 
We never do. Okay. It was very good. Uh, just two little things. Solo dos cositas. Uh, I congratulate you. You try to make it like more real using your real names. But we have to be careful with something. And I will explain it in Spanish. Eh, es bueno que tratemos de ponerte nuestros nombres. Siempre es mejor a la hora de hacer un role play. Solo hay un pequeño detalle. Cuando Jennifer habla con Mr. Mott, en este caso cuando Wilfredo hablaba con Mr. Nicolás, ahí estuvo el pequeñito problema. El Mr. En, en español nosotros usamos el título señor con el primer nombre, pero en inglés no. Lo usamos con todo el nombre o con el last name. You remember now, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Y el otro problemita es este. Eh, ellos no están promoviendo un desierto, Wilfredo. They are promoting a desert. desert. Yes, <laughs> desert. Teacher, is like teacher. the Sahara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Uh, promoting. Promoviendo, promocionando. No, no, no. Uh, the, promoting. The, yes, it's no. okay. It's okay. Promoting. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you, Maria Alejandra and William. Let's see, William, just start. Hello, Jennifer, who is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mode. I, I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategy. And I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are we are promoting promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, Maria. Regular. 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 <laughs> Right. Okay. But I tried. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. Fernando and Walter. <clears throat> Fernando, you start. Okay. Um, hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Uh, just fine, Mr. Mo. I am just checking the number of the people. To come in regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Uh, Why well, we do and change the menu? Whoever we are the promoting, promoting a desert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. We are bad. Remember, sir, sir. Sir, sir. Like that, perfect. Maria Luisa and Marta. Maria Luisa, you'll start. Teacher, could you could share the screen, please? Yes, yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, where is it? Right here, let me, okay, there you go. Thank you. Ah. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in re regular basis. That's some good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the, men the menu. Uh, or, however, we are prom promoting uh, the seal every weekend. We ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see. That was 
Francisco and Roxana. Francisco, you start. Jennifer, how is it going? Ya terminó. Francisco, uh, Francisco, please, uh, I don't know uh, if you can speak a little bit louder. Hello, teacher. Uh, I start. Uh, please. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of the people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give our promotional items? No, sir. We never do. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Carlos and Susana, please, Carlos, you start. Okay, teacher. Hello, Jennifer. How is, how is this going? Just fine, Mr. Mont. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular base. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How and do we change the menu? Well, we seldom shake the menu wherever we are promoting a dessert every week. Every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. A dessert, Susana. A dessert. Okay, now Sylvia and Janita. Sylvia, just start. Hello, Jennifer. How's it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we should not change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And thanks to all of you. Very well done. Just remember, dessert, dessert, everybody. Okay, guys, now let's see. We need to, well, we got time. That's good because uh, we are going to check some of the grammar aspects. And then we are going to do a little exercise that is going to be interesting, okay? But first, let me share with you a PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared for you. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, Alberts of Frequency. Okay, let's see. We use them to study habits. habits. Now, let's see, I got an F again. An F, that's a bad grade, okay? I got an A plus, that's a very good grade. You got an A plus again, how do you do it? Well, I always do my homework and I often ask the teacher for help. Interesting, you see? 
I always do my homework and I often ask the teacher for help. Hmm, well, I am usually late for class and I never do my homework. Ooh, it's about students. Maybe I need to try your study habits. Okay, let's remember. Albert's of frequency are used to say how often, cuando menudo. You do something or something happens. In this case, remember, they are not like specific. No son como específicos. Okay? So they give us a regular idea. Like always, yes, we know that always is siempre. Usually, often, sometimes. Oops, I'm sorry. I wanted to show you something. Okay, he always studies, he usually studies, he often studies, right? In this case, it's always because he got 100%. Now, he sometimes studies, look, sometimes, sometimes he doesn't. He rarely, oh yeah, he gets to play and he forgets about studying. Never, okay? Now, adverbs of frequency come after the verb be. She is sometimes late, okay? After the verb be. The students are never bored. Look at the structure. Vean estructura, subject, verb be, adverb of frequency. Adverb frequency usually come before other verbs. Para todo el resto de los verbos, cambia la regla. She often checks her answers. He usually pays attention in class. Sometimes. Sometimes can also come at the beginning or end of a sentence. Now. Ahora, tenemos aquí el rebelde de los adverbs of frequency. We got some things. This is different. This one can be at the beginning or at the end or following the rule. Este puede ser de acuerdo a las reglas o al inicio o al final. The dog eats his homework sometimes. Sometimes the dog eats his homework. Or you can say the dog sometimes eats his homework. You see? In this case, it changes. It can vary, okay? Now, let's see. Study at my computer. Okay, in my case, I can say, oh, I always study at, me, at my computer or I often study at my computer. I sometimes study at my computer. Now, study in front of the TV. How often do you study in front of the TV? Let's see, let's see. I got questions for you guys. Let's see, Ambar, tell me, how often do you study in front of the TV? Mm, never. I never study in I front never. of the TV. I Perfect. never study in front of the TV. Okay, let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Amber. What about you, uh, Fernando? How often do you study in front of the TV? Uh, I never study in front of the TV. Perfect. Now, let's see. Uh, Maria Luisa, tell me, how often are you early for class? I... I always be early to class. I am always. I am I, always. I, I, am, uh, I am always be early to class. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, we use ever in yes or no question. Ever means at any time, en cualquier momento, a cualquier hora. Okay, are the tests ever easy? So no exámenes. Alguna vez fácil. Does he ever get an A? Look, he always gets F. Do not, 
do not use ever in affirmative statements. Okay, just for questions. Do you ever come on time? Yes, I ever come on time. Uh -uh. I always come on time. I never come late. Okay, we use how often to ask about frequency. How often do you study with a partner? I rarely study with a partner. Now, how often do you fall asleep studying? Let's see. Well, we're going to do a different exercise here. Okay. Questions about the Albert, the Alberts of frequency? Preguntas? Oh, Roxana asked me about seldom, right? Yes. Seldom means the same as rarely. Estamos hablando casi lo mismo que rarely. Okay. Rara vez. Raramente. Raramente. No. Rara vez. The problem with Alberts of frequency is this. Accepting always and never, acceptando always and never, and they are not like specific because the frequency depends on the person who's speaking. So on the point of view of the person who's speaking, on the point of view of the person who's answering the question, okay? So when we talk about Alberts of frequency, remember what what is sometimes for me is not sometimes for everybody. Like, let's see. Imagine that I ask Carlos, Carlos, how often do you shave? And he tells me, oh, I always shave in the morning. Okay, but that's, that's, uh, what's that's always. Pero que es always para él? Todos los días? Because I always shave at night. Yo, I almost always shave at night. Yo casi siempre me rasuro por las noches. Okay? But almost always. And that almost always depends on another aspect. Y ese almost always depende de algo distinto. Because I actually shave uh, every three days or every other day. Yo normalmente me rasuro cada tres días o, o un día sí, un día no. It depends. So, you see, when I start talking using the address of frequency, it depends mostly on points of view because we are talking about frequency and that's not specific. Cuando hablamos de la frecuencia, no es realmente específica. But let's check something else. Veamos un poquito más de explicación. Okay, look. Alberts of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. Remember, we are here in the here in the manual in page number 22. Always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Okay. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. Okay, guys. You have to write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace using the following adverse of frequency to state how often you do those activities. You can always, rarely, hardly ever, seldom, sometimes, and never. That's number exercise number five, page 22. And this is a homework, okay? Exercise five, it's a homework, okay? Yes, Fernando, tell me. Hardly ever, teacher. What's the meaning? Casi nunca. The same okay. as almost never. Almost never. Okay. Thank you. Uh, but a question, a more question. Uh, yeah. Hardly ever is for affirmative. Yes. Okay. Only ever, not.
Okay, guys. Let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Any other question about this? ¿Algo otra preguntita? Okay, now let's see. Uh, I will, this is a review for some of you. Okay, esto solamente es un repaso para algunos de ustedes. But, I am sorry, uh, due to, I'm not sure how well do you remember the rules, pero ya que no estoy seguro que también recordamos las reglas, I will explain again the rules about the, the structuring. Voy a explicar de nuevo las reglas de la estructura, cómo ordenamos, ¿ok? So, let me share with you. I will use the board. Vamos a usar la pantalla. Remember, if you got any question, please feel free to ask. Recuérdense, cualquier preguntita, siéntase en total libertad. Ok, we got Albers of Frequency. Right? Now, the position. Ok. Well, first let's remember, we got always, almost always, never, sometimes, but the rule states this. Look. The rule says that adverbs, I'm sorry, the rule says that adverbs of frequency are placed before the verb. La regla general no dice esto. Adverbs of frequency are placed before the verb. Antes del verb. ¿Ok? Examples. Ejemplos de eso. Ok. Look. I never... Sorry, guys. I never... Study at night. Look, what do we have here? Veamos, ¿qué tenemos acá? We're going to check the style, the structure. So, in this case, let's check it out. Veamos. The adverbs of frequency, in this case, is never. Okay? See, the adverb of frequency in this case is never. And the adverb of frequency in this case is placed before the verb. Because the structure tells us, the estructura nos dice, that we have here, ¿qué tenemos? Subject, right? Then we have, oh my gosh. Subject. Then we have the Albert, right? Then we have the verb. And, and then we have the complement, right? That's what the structure is telling us. Another example would be, look. She, she always cooks dinner. Guys, please. Chicos, porfa, con el lapis. Look, she always, oops, cooks 
dinner. So you see the position is the same, okay? La posición es la misma. Oops. So now we have subject, auxiliary, verb, complement. That was the first rule. Esa fue la primera regla, right? ¿Qué nos decía la primera regla? Nos decía Albert before the verb. Okay? Now, the other rule states, la siguiente regla nos dice, Albert of frequency Albert's of frequency after the verb después del verbo B. Remember, we are talking just about the verb B. ¿Cuál es el verb B? Um, is or are. ¿Ok? Esta regla aplica solo para este verbo. So, an example of this. Un ejemplo de esto. Okay. She is always on time. Okay. So you see, the adverb in this case is, is after the verb be. Okay. And the only exception is sometimes. Y la única excepción es sometimes. That can be with either of these two rules, que puede ser con estas reglas, or before the sentence or after at the end of the sentence. Questions about this? Preguntas? Okay, let's see. Hold on just a second, Roxana. Let's see, I'm gonna send you the picture. Picture. Yes, mister. In past, we only changed the for example, the verb be to pass or was um, where? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was I was always late for work, you know. You see, I was always late for work. Okay. The advert in the same position. Questions about these guys? Preguntas? I know that for some of you, this is easy because it's just a review. Teacher, please, yes, do, you, do you repeat the second ruler? The second rule, other, other, otra vez, por favor. Okay, when it comes to the, to the verb be, cuando se trata del verbo ser o estar, the rule states, la regla nos dice, the Albert comes, after the verb be. Que el adverbio de frecuencia viene después del verbo cero estar. ¿Ok? Y el verbo cero estar es am, is, o are. Por eso, I am always on time for my class. She is never at home. Y cuando se trata de el resto de verbos, el adverbio cambia posición. Como por ejemplo, va antes del verbo. Como por ejemplo, eh, Yanira never cooks lunch. Sorry, Yanira, it's just an example. You see? And the only exception, y la única excepción, sometimes. Sometimes can either follow the rules, el sometimes, el a veces puede seguir las reglas, or can be. Right at the beginning or at the end. O puede ir 
al inicio o al final. Like, uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I go to bed late. I, I sometimes go to bed late. I go to bed late sometimes. Okay, so in the case of sometimes, there is no specific rule. Okay, questions? Thank you, Tisha. Okay, perfect. So, Silvia, please open your microphone, Silvia. Hello. Hello, Silvia. How often do you do your laundry? Um, I always do my, la my laundry. Okay. Thank you very much. And now tell me, Silvia, how often do you cook uh, lunch? Um, I usually cook my lunch. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just let me do something here. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who's the next? Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Okay, Maria Alejandra, tell me, how often do you cook for your boyfriend? <laughs> okay, I... I... <laughs> All right, I... Never? No. I I often cook, but I only cook on Saturday. Maybe, but I rarely. <laughs> oh, I rarely. I rarely, I rarely do. do it. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Susana. Hello, Susana. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Susana, how often do you are you late for work? I I often late for work. Tarde al trabajo. Ah, I I never. I am never late I am for work. Never, I am never late to work. For work. For work. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos. Tell me, teacher. Tell me, Carlos, how often do you cook? Um, I, I probably cook. I rarely cook. I rarely cook in my house, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, teacher, it's, teacher, it's I, a I little have... bit more than me. Yes, tell me, tell me. Yeah. I, I have a question. Uh, how yes. often do you select the select a soccer win a match? What? Well, <laughs> you asked me that question, I got a uh, I actually got a different type of answer. Yo les tengo una respuesta, pero... No, quite rarely. Si le pongo el quite antes del adverbio, es como decir pretty rarely. Muy, muy rares. Yeah, I know, I know. Quite rarely. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, I'm sorry. Well, gosh, time flew. Siempre se me va el tiempo. Me voló. I need to take the attendance. And let's see. Nicolas, can you stay after the class for a few minutes, please? Sorry, teacher. Uh, ¿Se puede quedar unos minutos después de la clase, please? Sí. Perfect. 
I'm sorry that I didn't, I forgot letting you know. Se me escapó mencionarle antes. Before I forget, antes que se me olvide. For tomorrow, I got uh, Wilfredo. And Friday, I got Jose Ernesto Osorio. The 10 minutes after the class. Next week, I will give them lo de la próxima semana, se lo diré el viernes. So we are ready for the next week. Now, let me get the attendance, guys. Please just give me a second so I can get it. Ambar Eli Alfaro. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Thank you, José. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco Jose Menéndez Aguilar. Oh, he's present. And Linda Marlene Costa Barrera. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Do not forget your homework. No se le olvide su tarea. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Nicolas, hello, 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 hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, these 10 minutes are for us, so... Perhaps if you have any specific doubt with a topic, veamos si tiene esos 10 minutos son por si tenemos alguna duda específica de un tema or an area that you would like me to help you o un área especial en la que le gustaría que le ayudara. Yes, teacher. And the, for example, I need, I need a support in, in the homework number two and number three in, in okay in the unit one for example in in the book in the book unit one in, in donde dice que hay que ordenar las letras en este caso sería esta no sé si se ve. Ok, hola. Okay. ¿Qué página? Es la página 12. 12. 12. 12. Let me see. Veamos. Ok, great study will be abroad. It opportunity to a. Ok. Yes. It will be. It will be a great opportunity to study okay. abroad. It will be opportunity. Will be. Will no, be. It will be a great opportunity. A great 
opportunity. A great opportunity. Only sentence. The other words, for example, a study, be a study abroad and two. Es que escúchame, le dije, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay. Okay. Entonces, diría, esta, I will be, will be, it, it will be, it will be, it will be, no, a, no, no, no. will, 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 will. Okay, let's do something. I am a silent. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Like this, mister. Look. Okay. So, like this. It will be a great Opportunity to study abroad. You see? Abroad. In el extranjero. That's what it means. Eso significa. It, okay. it will be study abroad. Okay. Y una oportunidad. Estudiar en el extranjero. Para estudiar. Sería una oportunidad para estudiar en el extranjero. Ok, uh, teacher. Y, y... Look at the next one. A training uh -huh. for our employees could be beneficial. A training. Un, eh, un, una capacitación. Para nuestros empleados puede ser beneficioso. Teacher, en este caso, por ejemplo, cuando está usted formando esta, la lógica, la lógica del orden de las palabras es lo que me cuesta a mí, ¿verdad? Porque en este caso, no sé si había como, como, de, bueno, debo de entender que ya el orden lleva una secuencia lógica en el caso de will be will, will be it will be and could be and will be lleva una posición verdad similar a la regla que acabamos de ver sí 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 y está aplicada acá lo que sucede es que en estos ejemplos nos están poniendo sujetos compuestos no nos están poniendo el sujeto común que hemos visto de solamente un nombre o uh -huh. simplemente el pronombre sino sí. que nos están poniendo sujetos compuestos, como por ejemplo, vea la número 3. ¿okay? En la número 3, el sujeto está compuesto por tres palabras. Working less hours, trabajar menos horas, uh -huh. ¿okay? would be, podría ser, another benefit. A trabajar menos horas podría ser un beneficio. Okay. Otro beneficio. Working, working less hours, todo eso es el sujeto. Ok. Working less hours. Yes. Todo eso es el sujeto. Look at the next one. Vea la siguiente. Number four. Ok, let's see. Number four. 
weekends off. Weekends off. El fin, el terminar el fin de semana. Weekends uh. off. Los fines de semana libre. Ah, will be. Libre. Will uh -huh. be. Tenemos. Tener, have. No, I'm sorry. To have weekends off. To have. We can off. O oh, podría ser. O oh, permítame, permítame, permítame. Vamos a ver. Que aquí estoy cometiendo un error yo. Give me just a second. Déjeme solo un segundo. Estamos en página cuánto? 12, 12. right? 12. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, lo voy a confundir más porque yo me estoy equivocando en algo. Es solamente... Ah, just give me a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Perdón que le haga perder un poquito de tiempo. Pero no, es mejor que lo está hagamos bien, correctamente. No, está ¿por qué? Okay. De todas formas, we can solicitar. Off, yes. Weekends off will be a good option to have happy, employee, happy employees. El problema no. ahí es este, mira. No ¿Qué? tengo la página. Ahora, ok. En esa oración, este, cometieron un error a la hora de... de, 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 de de ponerme las palabritas porque me metieron A y esa A no debería ser. Pero lo que nos interesaba en este caso. Eh, esa la quito de aquí del libro. Sí. Bueno, lo que nos interesa es esto, recuérdense. La estructura, lo que usted me preguntaba de un inicio. Perdón mm. que se lo explique en español, pero quiero que nos quedemos lo más clarito posible. La estructura mm. es sujeto, would be o could be, ¿Eh? bueno, aquí hay un pequeño detalle. Fíjese. Y quiero explicárselo bien. Este, ¿Qué le parece si uso la pizarra para explicar? Le voy a proyectar la pizarra acá. Ok. Déjeme limpiar esto. La estructura nos dice a nosotros. Subject. Sujeto. Luego, moda. Luego, verb, pero el verbo, ¿cómo nos lo dice? Perdón. Nos dice, verb en su base form. El verbo en su forma base. ¿Ok? ¿Y cuál es un verbo en su forma base? En este caso, estamos hablando de el verbo be. Y luego nos dice complement. ¿Ok? Ahora, ¿qué es esto? Si recordamos algunas de las oraciones que teníamos ahí, eh, veamos. Mencióneme una de las oraciones que ya resolvimos. La primera, por favor. Ok, la... It, it will, will be, it will be, eh, okay. a, it, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. It will be a to study 
great opportunity to abroad. study abroad. Ok, veamos. Aquí está exactamente la oración como la queremos. Look. It. Luego el modal. Luego el B. Y luego viene el complemento. Look. Mire. Subject. Modal. Verbo en su forma base. Y todo eso, complement. You see? El subject está aquí. It. El modal, would. Después de los modal, siempre, de cualquier modal, siempre va a haber un verbo en su forma base. Y por último, el complement. Yeah. Todo esto es el complemento. Ahora, lo que sucede es que acá el libro nos pidió a nosotros que viéramos would be y could be como algo separado. But, um, como que fuera una expresión propia, would be y could be. Pero realmente would y could es utilizado para expresar una posibilidad futura. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Porque en la clase veíamos una oración como esta. Dentro de la conversación nos decía, I could be an asset for the company. ¿Se recuerda? Sí. Esta oración la usamos en la conversación que repasamos y que practicamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I could be an asset for the company. Sujeto. Luego viene el could. Luego viene el be. Y luego viene el complement. Entonces, realmente el would be y el could be no es que sean expresiones aparte, no. Seguimos la regla general de los modal. Sujeto, modal, verbo, en este caso el be y complemento. Yo les explicaba, en el caso de be, da la casualidad que este verbo, su forma base es be. Y cuando se conjuga, cambia am, is o are. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. eh, lo mismo sucede cuando hacemos el verbo have. ¿Se recuerda del verbo have? Que este también tiene una forma distinta para la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Decimos nosotros. I, has. I will have, I will have, eh, I will have time for you tomorrow. Yo tendré tiempo para usted mañana. ¿Ok? Y se recuerda usted que en la tercera persona cambia has, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos yeah. de he, she, o it. Pero como acá la regla nos dice que después del modal viene el verbo en su forma base, he would, no decimos has, sino que decimos he would have. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? La forma base ahí es have. El verbo base es exactly. have. Exactly. Exacto. What this other is eh, eh, tiene esa misma, sí. esa misma situación. Sí. Solamente tenemos el be, el have y el do. ¿Se sí. recuerda? Do y das. Have y do. Sí, como por ejemplo yo digo, I, I could do or I would do the homework. Y para la tercera persona decimos das, ¿verdad? En presente simple. Uh -huh. Pero como realmente aquí lo que nos está pidiendo es el verbo base, yo voy a decir he will do. No voy a decir he will does. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Solo en estos casos. These are the only ones. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. ¿Es it clear now? ¿Estamos bien ahora? Sí, bien. Bien. Ok. Bien, lo voy a resolver, voy a resolver la tarea porque eso me hace falta. And any question, please contact me. Y cualquier sí. pregunta me avisa. Sí. 
La otra, teacher, es la, el siguiente homework, que habla de responder, ¿verdad? Que nos pide responder, sin embargo, cuando hago la lectura, yo entiendo que se refiere a una lectura previa, que no sé cuál es. ¿Dónde? ¿Cuál ejercicio? Ya le digo. La tarea, déjeme ver si es la tarea 2. No. Tarea 3. Sí, Página. es la tarea 3 de del homework. Del homework en la plataforma. Ok, veamos. Vamos Aquí a la dice, plataforma. we haven't seen Mary. Permítame, yo necesito ver la palabra. Fine. Ok, veamos. Estamos en la sección 1, me dice. Correcto, en la sección 1. Tarea 3. Sección 1, tarea 3. Eh, no. Sección 1 nos dice, escoja la mejor opción. No hemos sí. visto a Mary. Since the party or for the party. Usted va a marcar una de las dos. ¿Cuál va a marcar? Uh, ¿Desde yeah. la fiesta o por la fiesta? Simplemente va a marcar. Ah, ok. Ah, eso no se refiere entonces a ninguna lectura. No, Yo no, estaba no, no, no. buscando, por ejemplo, cómo se utiliza el since y cómo se utiliza el, el for. Entonces, este, el for desde hace o durante y que se ocupa eh, con un periodo de tiempo. Y el since, que significa desde o desde qué, se usa para señalar un momento concreto en el tiempo. Entonces, sí, yo se los explicaba cuando, déjenme ver cuando les estoy explicando eso. Mm, esta semana lo terminamos de ver de nuevo. Sí, correcto. Entonces, igual, ¿verdad? La idea es poder ampliar y eh, para poder tener una mayor claridad. Y entonces, ahora, pues, que ya sé qué es lo que se tiene que poner ahí, voy a completar esa tarea. Perfect, perfect. Me alegra haberle sido de utilidad. Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias. Any question, please contact me. You got my number. Cualquier ok, pregunta, teacher. Contáctame. Tiene mi número. Sí, okay. yo le entrego de todas formas eh, mañana en la tarde la última tarea que dejó de la, del resumen profesional. No problem, my friend. I will be expecting it. La estaré esperando. Ok, thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Take good care. night, teacher. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you.